of people of the internet my name is Johnny welcome back to FNAF news in today's video we got Steel Wool Studios announcing that Ruin is finally available on Xbox we got some major reveals for U2's upcoming FNAF movie wave and speaking of the movie we got filming updates for the second FNAF movie as well as details on a brand new major character so that and so much more we're gonna be talking about in today's video if you're excited for all the FNAF news scroll down tickle that subscribe button well let's kick off this video by talking about some book news because we just got a brand new preview for the glow in the dark FNAF coloring book with the first page actually showing off that glow in the dark aesthetic for this new book we got Rockstar Freddy in a ball pit as well as glam rock Freddy and then we also had Monty as well as Haps from Tales from the Pizza Plex all of these guys glowing in the dark I saw a lot of FNAF fans excited that Haps is actually featured in this coloring book makes you wonder what other tales or book characters could be included and then we also had a non glow in the dark coloring page featuring the daycare attendant the sun and the moon with both of them inside the play care from Security Breach. And this glow in the door coloring book is set to release on the 6th of August of this year. Moving on now to other merchandise, we had Cloak in the News because they just released a brand new wave of FNAF products. They're all available on the Cloak website. I'll leave that link down below in case you see anything you like. But going down the list, you've got a delivery bag, which is unfortunately sold out. You got some jackets for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, a headband and jacket featuring FNAF X Cloak, some more t-shirts, more designs of the t-shirts, even more designs of the t-shirts. Very generous, they give you a lot of options for the t-shirt designs because I do really like the designs. You got some pants, you got Spring Bonnie himself repping the merchandise. More designs of the shirts. Hello Cupcake, you got some pins as well as a hat, a pizza candle, I guess it smells like pizza, a pizza cutter, a flashlight, some posters, and finally, some stickers. Shortly after I recorded that footage yesterday, Cloak added a 24-hour countdown on their website, and once that hits zero at 12pm Eastern Standard today, which will definitely happen before this video gets posted, it seems like they're gonna get rid of their brand new FNAF collection. Now, as far as I can tell, there was no heads up that this would be a limited time drop. I'm sure that's the usual with cloak but it, I just found it weird that they gave a 24 hour heads up and then it's gone completely so I apologize if you saw anything you're interested in this video will not be released by the time that clock hits zero. But moving on now to YouTube's, we just got some major reveals for their upcoming FNAF movie wave because they showed off some box art for their upcoming Steve Raglan, aka William Afton figure. With the caption of the tweet saying, how's the pay? And on the back of the box, you got the end of the quote. Not great, but the hours are worse. And then you got Steve on the phone or William Afton on the phone talking to Mike on that very first night. Now, something super interesting about this reveal is that this is not actually the same yellow rabbit figure that we've been getting teasers of. If you remember that that figure will have a removable head. The very first U2's figure to have something like that. Presumably that's so you can take on and off the Spring Bonnie yellow rabbit mask to reveal William Afton underneath. But we've actually seen the box art for that figure. It had the yellow rabbit emerging from the entrance of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. You can tell because of the exit sign. That means we'll be getting two different William Afton figures. One of them being him inside the yellow rabbit costume. Though you will be able to take off his head to reveal William's face underneath. However, we'll also get the Steve Rabbit Raglan figure. We do know the lineup for the first wave of FNAF movie figures is Mike inside the Torture Freddy device, Doug, Vanessa, because she got moved up to wave one, the Yellow Rabbit, this Steve Raglan figure, and they also said maybe Jason Blum. So with that lineup of figures, I'd love to know what are your thoughts. Keep in mind that is only wave one. There will be a second wave of FNAF movie products in September, with this first FNAF movie wave being released in June. However, figures are not the only FNAF movie products we're getting in June because we're also getting plushies. With you Two's revealing their upcoming Yellow Rabbit plushie, which presumably will be released in June with that first FNAF movie wave. Right off the bat, I'll clarify, a lot of people are upset that his bow tie is black. However, u did confirm they're changing it to purple, which is the color of the Yellow Rabbit's bow tie in the FNAF movie. Personally, I quite like this plushie. I saw a lot of people upset that it's got pretty goofy buck tooth smile and his arms do look a bit thin but other than that I think this is a pretty fantastic plushie for the yellow rabbit so to recap all the plushies releasing in June are the Mike plushie this new yellow rabbit plushie we did get concept art for a Sparky the dog plushie that I'd assume will also be released here as well as that balloon boy plushie so again for this first wave of FNAF movie products I'd love to know what are your thoughts moving on now to Hex we've got some updates on when their next FNAF plushies are releasing because we do know the next set of plushies to be released will be that 
Batwave including Springtrap, Withered Golden Freddy, and Withered Chica, with Hex revealing that May 31st, the final day of May, will be the release date for those plushies. With Docco later clarifying that Hex has a great lineup this year as well, which does check out. Previously, we've gotten a lot of reveals for their Shadow Wave, featuring glow-in-the-dark plushies of Shadow Bonnie as well as Shadow Freddy. Also in that wave, a Shadow Freddy hoodie and t-shirt, and sticking with apparel, Hex has shown off plenty of other t-shirts from Circus Baby's Pizza World to Security Breach, and we've also gotten a look at their upcoming sister location plushies of the Funtime animatronics. Now, all of that is not necessarily confirmed for this year, but that is just a tiny glimpse into the future of Hex. But in other Hex news, it looks like they might have plans to restock the Fanverse plushies, with Hex making a tweet, would you like us to restock Pop Goes and Candy in the future? Like this post so we can see. With that post getting 1.6 thousand likes, so very clearly demand is there, with even Docco and Kane noticing the demand to restock some of the Fanverse plushies. So if you missed out on that first release of Pop Goes and Candies, hopefully they can get restocked pretty soon. Moving on now to Ruin, Xbox fans finally rejoice because the DLC is now available on Xbox, with Steel Wool Studios the other day releasing this teaser of the Xbox in very clearly the Ruin font with the Ruin colors, and later clarifying saying Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach the Ruin DLC is now live on Xbox. You can claim it by visiting the Microsoft Store. Unfortunately, there is a bit of bad news if you do own Security Breach on disc, with Steel Wool Studios making a tweet saying we are aware of issues reported by Xbox players with physical copies of Security Breach, experiencing problems with the Ruin DLC. We are actively addressing these concerns and will provide further updates here as soon as they are available. Following up the next day saying we've identified the issue preventing Xbox disc users from accessing Ruin. The fix is is minor, but it requires thorough testing to prevent new bugs, which adds extra time. We apologize for the inconvenience and will keep you updated. Thank you for your patience. So a bit of good news, a bit of bad news for Xbox fans waiting on Ruin. I know it must suck to wait all those months and then when it actually arrives, you're not able to play it. Like Steel said, they are actively addressing that issue for all you players on disc. So they'll be sure to let you know immediately when that's fixed. I'll be sure to let you guys know when it's fixed. Just subscribe so you don't miss out on any more FNAF news. But but moving on now to Help Wanted 2, we're getting all the updates on Steel Wolves games getting ported. Though unfortunately, it's not an update on the Oculus port. I do see all your comments and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. We did get revealed to us, however, that Help Wanted 2 will be releasing on physical June 20th, which does make sense seeing as June 20th is also the day that Flat Mode gets released. And I did see some comments confused what exactly is Flat Mode. It's basically just a non-virtual reality version of Help Wanted 2. So if you don't have a headset, doesn't matter. You can still play it on PlayStation. 5, you can play it on Steam. So yeah, flat mode and physical, that releases on June 20th. But then in other Help Wanted 2 news, the official soundtrack for the title is now on streaming. So if you want to jam out to Help Wanted 2 soundtrack, it's available on Spotify and Apple Music. And now that brings us to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the movie. In a previous FNAF news video, you may remember that filming for the second FNAF movie got delayed from July all the way to fall, with Daniel RPK, who's a reliable scooper, later clarifying that October, it's seems like is when they want to start filming, but then Daniel also revealed that a new major male role is also being looked at, with Daniel himself guessing, let me, let me make that clear, he's guessing that it might be Henry Emily, who FNAF lore heads will know as the founder of Fazbear Entertainment in the games, right, he's the one who guides us through Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, trying to collect all the scrap animatronics to burn them all down at the end, he's the businessman of Willie Mafton, the two of them creating Fazbear Entertainment, making Freddy Fazbear's. But again, I should clarify, that is Daniel's guess. That is what Daniel personally thinks they're on the lookout for. With other FNAF fans speculating that role might be for Jeremy Fitzgerald, who's the name of the night guard in the second FNAF game, there were early reports that Jeremy Fitzgerald would be in this film. However, if we're still following the story of Mike Schmidt and Abby and Vanessa, it would be weird to have two night guards at the same time, Mike and Jeremy, which I should clarify, even though FNAF 2, the game, is a prequel to FNAF 1, it does seem like for this movie universe, FNAF 2, the movie, will be a sequel to FNAF 1 and not a prequel. We've already gotten reports that Piper Rubio, who plays Abby, Matthew Lillard, who plays William Afton, as well as Josh Hutcherson, who plays Mike, it's pretty much guaranteed and confirmed that all three of them, at least, are coming back for the sequel film. So again, my best guess and the working theory for this 
new major male role is Henry. It would make sense, and I think a lot of fans would appreciate more backstory on William Afton in the second film. And Henry, if he is adapted into the movie universe, is a very integral part of William's backstory. And again, Fazbear Entertainment overall, seeing as they founded the company together. That would also then lead into Charlotte, who possesses the puppet. Again, this is all assuming the movie universe follows pretty damn close to at least the game universe. But all of this is really speculation right now. We're just gonna have to wait on more details to see who exactly this new major character is. But in the meantime, because it does seem like we have quite a while to wait until filming begins, I'd love to know what are your theories on this character, who they are, how they're gonna fit into the story, and I guess your general predictions for FNAF 2. But that is going to do it for all the FNAF news today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.